All right, folks, welcome back. Well, sometimes I like to review a few tools that I find, um, inexpensive ones, just to uh, see you know, how they work and everything like that. So we got injector cups we've been replacing in this uh, 7.3 power stroke. Uh, this is the tool that um, I bought. Um, I bought it a long time ago. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I know it was pretty cheap. Um, I've got a lot more expensive tool. Uh, I think mine's from Riff Raff is what the one I've got. I seem to like a lot, um, but I thought maybe buy another one to keep in my um, with all the tools in my pickup or something like that. I don't know, just in case. Um, but there's just a couple of things that uh, I found out about this that uh, you need to do to make this tool actually work a lot better than um, it currently will. Um, anyways, these are the injector cups we're talking about. You know, tool just screws in there and makes its own threads there and I don't know you really only need a couple of turns I usually go about two two full turns or, or something like that and that's usually enough to, to usually grab a hold of these the problem with this tool is um, and let, let's get it installed in there as exactly how it's supposed to go so we get a different camera view Okay, so it's it's kind of flattened, you see, like that. So what it's going to do is it's going to drop down in here. And that's going to kind of just fit over that. You're not once once you get it to the point where you can't turn that. Um, and so then you you just run this down. I'm moving the camera all over the freaking place. All right. Um, that thing will spin a little bit, not a huge deal, but, um, I wasn't really counting my turns, but we're definitely bit into this thing quite a bit. Now, problem is, I don't know how well this is going to show up or not well, you see the gap that this won't want to uh that needs to be completely flush and then some and i'll explain how i mean by that let's see if we can get a different shot of it yeah you see how that's sitting up on there like that that's why a lot of people break these or whatever is because um if I pick this thing up a little bit. You see the main base of it raised up a little bit? That's never gonna work. I'll explain, get a different camera view and I'll explain why. Okay, so when you got this thing, uh, you know, this is this is run down about a little over two, two and a quarter, two and a half turns or something like that. Um, that's trying to look at here you can see that that one's about that far you know and this this one came right out you know no no big deal on that if it if it pulls back out of there then then run it down farther um but in order for that so basically what we got going on is the edge of the head this thing protrudes about that far we're talking about the end of this um my bad Come about the end of this you know it's about that far so really what you need to do is you need to dr you know drive this tap in here farther to get this not not flush but below flush so that where this has room because what what's end up happening is is if you get it flush or the way i had it which was up a little bit you know that just pushes down on there all you're doing when you tighten this nut is just tightening this plate against this base and you're not doing anything. But with this thing, if you get it down far enough like this, now if this is flush against the uh, head like it's supposed to be, then you've got the room to tighten your nut down and extract it. Hopefully you can understand what I'm saying there. So let me show you what... Um, I did and then I'll explain this here also in just a second okay so we got this what I did is I got this spacer right here this is an inch and a half 
uh, by close nipple. I mean, it's just like that. It was this, this long. I just cut it down and it doesn't even quite have to be this thick either, but this seemed to work pretty well. Um, we'll measure this and see what, how long it is, you know, but it's, you can see how kind of the, kind of the width of this finger right here. So anyhow, um, what that's going to do is now that's going to slide. It's going to go in here and that's just going to take up some space. So this, now this plate is now going to be closer to the nut and give us all kind of room to, uh, you know, tighten this nut down and drive this thing out of here. Now, the reason I kind of, this uh, nub right here, I ground it down just a little bit. This takes a half inch drive, 12 point uh, socket, but, um, and then this is a uh, three quarter inch headed for, for your socket. Well, just my, um, Uh, just my uh, design of socket that I was using uh, when you get down lower and all that type of stuff it was just kind of rubbing on here so I just wanted this to go be able to go fit up in the in the socket better and that's really why I ground that down but anyways let's um, go get this thing uh, put on there and, and show you how to use it all right so kind of just put this down in here and it's just gonna it fits here perfectly and just rides right inside there just nice and then we'll just drop this down in here like that make sure your nuts just backed out a little bit well these threads are we kind of already started these threads a little bit but just because it's the same hole we're working on farther down you need to go okay. three-quarter on here and this shouldn't take a whole lot of effort really you just go all the way until it's loose and there it is and there it is. So that's all that takes to make that work. So hopefully that uh, helps you out some. Just a little spacer is really all they they needed to make this thing. You know, either that or or shorten the the this shank a little bit or something like that, or shorten this part here or something. You know, I don't know, but it's uh, you have to run it all the way in there a lot farther than I like to. Um, a lot farther than I like to anyways as far as you know how far this how far you drive this uh, the tool into the cup to get it out um, you really only need about two maybe three turns and that's it um, they usually come out come right out so anyways modified a little bit works great um, I just looked them up online I'll show you Um, here's one for sale on uh, eBay, and then uh, you know, and it's got the installer tool. I'll show you how to use that too. Um, and then I think I found another one here, Amazon. Um, looks like the same exact thing. It's just more expensive, but it looks exactly the same thing as what I have. Um, if you go down here though. You read these reviews and it's like oh this thing works amazing well, this guy didn't even use it right um, he used a pry bar and, and he actually turned turned the cup and, until it turned inside the head instead of using a nut to extract them that's that's not the best way to do it and then this guy right here broke off in the head of my truck that's you know he did that because he didn't realize that uh, he didn't have the room and that's why it snapped off and it was getting real hard like that he just kept going and, and broke it off but um, you know for this one right here you know you can buy this setup and everything it's exact same as what what I've got so 
um, you just might have to modify it a little bit see how that nub used to be you know I just it fits better in my socket when I ground it down some but um, yeah we'll just I'll show you how the installer deal works and and uh, keep on going all right so the way that this particular uh, part of the tool works is um, you know it's got an o-ring right here just make sure it's kind of lubricated a little bit this will slide on here snap down in place take your um, you know this is green this is Permatex if it's a Loctite Loctite 620 this Permatex this high temperature it's actually a sleeve retainer it'll work real good for this particular stuff because it can handle up to about 400 degrees you know what you're gonna need it to handle a couple hundred because of the coolant temperature and just go around the this part right here and then there's just this part right here okay okay so what you do is you just slide this down in here, get it all nice and straight. Now, I know this hammer is big, but we're not taking a lot of. It don't need to be this big, but it, you know, just a little bit of force. Tap it down. See that change? Or hear that change? That's how you know it's bottomed out. Then you just pull the seal out of there, and then um, when you look down in there. You know, you got the fuel feed right there, about an eighth of an inch or so, give or take. Below that, that's where the top of the rim ought to be. And then uh, just take a rag and wipe everything out. Uh, in here, I just put a rag on the, like the end of a screwdriver and just go around like that and do them all. And um, <clears throat> that's pretty much how you use it. So for the money, it, it works great. You just got to modify it a little bit, in my opinion. So hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching.